Hi, this is Shadi and this video is about how to be a responsible martial artist and a human being in society in general. Now, Jigoro Kano created the Kodokan school in order for us to take care of education both physically, mentally or intellectually and morally. Morally is a key in order for us to understand why we train and why and how we should display how we train in society and on the mats. Now courtesy, respect and also standing up for the week against everything that's wrong is why we train these arts in general. This is not to incite or celebrate violence whatsoever. This video is about to show some of the real life applications of judo and how people uh, avoided stuff like physical trauma, uh, mental trauma, uh, losing probably their lives, their livelihood, thanks to judo. And this is not, like I said, to incite or celebrate violence. So I adjusted the footage of yesterday to make it far more f family friendly. But uh, before you go and flag my video uh, out of maliciousness, please watch the video till the end. Uh, this is how to be a responsible martial artist and how sometimes the law is also important because people say uh, there are no rules in a street fight. Yes, there are. It's called the law. So whenever, wherever you live in this world, it is important to take into consideration uh, the law and how, uh, you know, too much aggression when it comes to self-defense can also be on you. So you don't want to be both the defendant and the victim. So here you see, first of all, the, how the policeman stopped uh, someone with a weapon that was going to cause some harm. Here we see in the bank someone that lady will probably be traumatized if no one came to her aid and someone was carrying a weapon uh, people were, probably would have lost their lives and probably would have lost their savings and earnings here he was holding hostage so no one can come in and you know take care of it unless here the judoka came in with a swift and brilliant ippon serenage and saved the day this is a great example of how uh, a responsible martial artist and human being should act is for the good and the betterment of society. This is not uh, to celebrate aggression and to show who's the bigger man or whose school is better, uh, but rather this is to create a better society. That's why Kano Sensei reiterated and talked a lot about the three types of education that I discussed, the physical, the moral, and the intellectual because without those we will just have people with just a lot of technique and aggression and uh, nowhere to pour it and it will create a lot of problems and the Hufino dos santos is a great example of that so education the moral in particular that comes with the technical responsibility of judo such a wide range of techniques uh, should be always taught and should be always reminded that you should be safe and responsible with handling a situation even when you are controlling an aggressor make sure you neutralize the situation first and not just go in for damage and as much as possible this is not how we handle things like i said the law uh, is pretty much real and it depends on wherever you live uh, it can really have repercussions on you even though you are defending yourself here is another altercation that happened uh, going back and forth uh, and a clear example of the basics of uh, Deashi and Okuriashi and look how he took him down, controlled him and no uh, damage, didn't go for ground and pound so on and so forth. He just uh, took him down, controlled him and that was it and that's how uh, situations should be handled. You should aim for control and not to cause damage. So unless your life really uh, depended on it and it's gonna about to end then yes controlling and possibly neutralizing in a way that they cannot uh, retaliate is the most uh, is the best thing you could possibly do honestly so uh, like i said this is not to celebrate violence or to show that oh it just works look at the streets but rather we should always be responsible with a tool that's called judo so Use it for the good of mankind, for the betterment of society, to spare people 
physical mental trauma the uh, bank incident with the uh, woman held hostage is a perfect example uh, of how you should use this power with great responsibility so again before you take down my video or flag it please watch till the end so the next example is an example that went uh, viral is that uh, pjj black belt that uh, held someone with a triangle choke uh, from mount uh, this is also a great example of how you contain someone but also make them feel that hey if you try to do anything i have the upper hand i can con i can do or put you to sleep basically uh this is the sankaku jimmy that can be fine from any position the mount the guard uh side control back mount uh, all of it you can find sankaku jimmy uh the triangle choke uh, here you can see uh, Mitsuro Kimura demonstrating it. He was specifically called uh, Mr. Sankaku because he was so talented with it. He creates the angles as you see here. He flares his uh, toes up. Uh, he's doing everything that we are still learning till this day of how to really complete a successful triangle choke. Um, and that uh, BJJ Black Belt. You can go find the video on YouTube. They even had an interview with him. He uh, details the story of how someone tries to break in his uh, business and his father's business so again there was a livelihood at stake and people's safety also so he took care of it and no one got hurt that's the most important thing of it all is that no one got hurt and that's the first uh, priority you should have whenever utilizing this tool and that's how you should be responsible as a judoka or a grappler uh, maybe you do jiu-jitsu but nonetheless all these techniques still apply so again uh, there are rules in a street fight it's called the law and also you should be responsible maybe like uh, for example that's a brilliant story when uh, Jean-Jacques Machado was on the JRE he said that he was coming out of a pharmacy if I'm not mistaken and someone really was aggressive with him and uh, they uh, wanted to get engaged in a fight with him and uh, he he says that calm down i don't want to fight you etc but uh, after some time that same person who was very aggressive and uh, wanted to cause trouble troubles uh, ended up being his student and he was very thankful and says hey uh, thank you for you know sparing me basically and uh that's the other thing is that you don't know who's attacking you maybe they have a need they they can't feed themselves so on and so forth so uh containing them sometimes can be a second chance for them uh leaving unharmed uh handling you know letting the police handle it rather than you yourself uh ending someone crippling them you don't know maybe uh, the way you control them is a lesson to them and it's probably a wake-up call to them it's also thanks to the judo that you have learned so again being responsible is incredibly important uh, detain someone contain them control them but uh, do not hurt them unless they pull up a weapon or they want to retaliate in a way that can jeopardize your safety your health or the safety of someone that's with you like your daughter your son your husband your wife uh, your siblings so on and so forth so like I said, it's incredibly important to be responsible when it comes to these techniques that we learn. And moral education is incredibly important. That's why Kano Sensei uh, put this. So here, for example, uh, another thing that I want to discuss is that uh, John Danaher says, when it comes to jujitsu as a competition, takedowns are a choice. But when it comes to fighting, it's a necessity. So uh, the, I posted a video a while back talking about the Ono brothers versus the Gracie brothers and uh, someone said uh, I mentioned that Helio was taken down 27 times and 32 times and someone commented saying that it really shows that judo is uh, really lacking uh, you need the ground game so on and so forth uh, dropping someone on concrete and here as you saw those takedowns can really be uh, just you know they like a ko basically so uh no it's the takedowns that's the priority and then the newaza so in competition yes 
uh, you can you fall on the mats and nothing can happen to you if you know how to fall but on the streets you have to be incredibly responsible so choose your takedowns I did a video called top five takedowns for the streets because I also took uh, into consideration the safety of the one I'm um, uh, fighting so I chose uh, stuff like the with the most minimal damage possible like Osoto Otoshi where you control the takedown the Deashiharai, the Kochigari, uh, the Morotegari not the, the double leg or the Skuminage where you lift and slam down but rather where you reap and you make them fall on their back uh, with the most minimal damage as possible so please use this uh, great gift responsibly uh, for the betterment of society and not just to cause any uh, trouble uh, please stay safe stay responsible it's very important for you and for your siblings and like i said it can be a second chance or a wake-up call for that someone that you manage to control so please if you have anything else to add uh, let me know down below and also please consider supporting me on patreon uh, if you have anything else to add again let me know down below. This was Shady and thank you for listening.